Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the five elements of design. Okay, so I've tried to use the five elements of design in this uh, little poster, if you like. Um, I'm just going to work my way backwards just to show you how I got to that point. So, if I just work backwards here, you can see that I have used lots of different things to try and make this um, just look better just look a little bit better than I keep going than I'm nearly there that so that's what I started with that's what I started with just a bit of text plunked on a slide and I used the five elements of design to just make it look better okay so I'm going to work very very quickly show how I use Google Slides to do that so the first thing I wanted to do when I use my five elements of design is to um, make the page look a bit balanced a bit more balanced so to do that I wanted to put my titles um, my subheading and my title at the top and the two other pieces of information that I had um, to work with on a, on either side of the page or balanced on either side okay so I started with that so I started moving my text about and position it on the page so that it looked balanced because balance is one of the five elements of design okay now to make it even better I'm just going to balance this text by putting it centered inside the text boxes that it's currently living in okay sometimes this is not appropriate everything centered in a text box sometimes doesn't look right but for my particular design that I'm trying to make, I'm going to work with centered text, okay? You might choose not to, and that'll be okay. Right, so I've now got it kind of balanced. Now, I'm gonna make some of the text a bit bigger, just so that it stands out a little bit. So up there in the text size, the font size section, I'm going to make it a bit bigger, and I'm gonna move that, make that a bit bigger, and then, when we start moving these around, you'll see that bit bigger. You'll see that it needs to be positioned exactly in the middle. So, can you see when I move that text box there? That red line appears. That's telling me that that text box is in the middle. That one, I've just clicked on the edge. That's not in the middle. Now we've got the red line. But if I move it across, there's the red line. That's now in the middle. Okay. And um, the same with this. There, that red line there is a quarter. So that's a quarter of the way, which is kind of where I want it to be, really. Because I don't want it to be underneath the title. I want it to be quarter of the way across. Okay? So once I'm happy that everything has been positioned exactly where it should be, I'm just going to move that about. Can you see there's a red line appear there? That means it's directly in the middle of the text above it. And again, that red line there has just appeared that means that's now directly underneath that text okay next thing we want to do is we're going to look at my elements of design i'm going to add other things i'm going to add some lines some shapes form and some texture now they're quite easy to do it's actually more easy to kind of to work your way from the back but you can move your objects around in google slides very easily but i want to work my way from the back so i'm going to do the background first i'm going to add a bit of texture to the background so i'm going to do that by clicking on this explore button down in the bottom right and i'm going to type in there textured backgrounds okay click on images and I'm going to scroll through and I'm going to find a nice textured background that wouldn't look too bad as a background to that piece of information. So when I want to find a background that I like, click on it, click on the blue button that says insert and there it is. Now to send it to the back you can right click and you can go to order, send to the back or you can use control and your down arrow to um, send it backwards or forwards. Okay so now I've got that. I now want to add a line so up there there's a line tool I'm going to drag that on and I can change how that line looks I can format it make it a bit thicker using the weight and I can change the color of it so I might change it to maybe like a dark purple to fit in with the scheme there okay and I'm kind of getting somewhere I've got some lines I've got texture I've got balance what how else have we got I haven't got shape I haven't got form so I'm going to add a bit of shape there so up here's the shape tool I might use a rounded rectangle 
you might choose to use some circles maybe to position your text in the circles balance them out on either, either side um, that's not actually a bad colour for that background but if I wanted to change the colour I could go in there and change the colour um, but I actually like gradients and I'm going to go in and I'm, I'm going to choose one of these gradients oh I don't like that blue with that background more of a grey there you go that's much better and at this point I'm going to use my shortcut key control and down arrow and keep pressing it because it's working its way through it to let the layers and there it is that's the position that I want it to be the final thing I'm going to do because it's the final element that I've not used is form is I'm going to add um, some sort of shadow effect to that rectangle I'm just going to click off that to get rid of that and you do that by right clicking on the shape you go to format options and there's a number of things that you can do in here have a little look in there and see what you can see what you can see okay <clears throat> so I've added a drop shadow um, you can toggle the with the um, settings of it okay so transparency I'm gonna make the distance blur radius okay so that's like makes it a bit bigger so I see I quite like that so that's nice so I'm happy with that click on cross there you have it I am done I am done with that so I have used all five elements of design just to create a simple design that looks far far better than what I started with I want you to have a go too. Have fun!